I am your astrologer, Wonder Girl, taking you to new heights. Here is your monthly forecast for the month of March 2018. Now, before I get started, I just have one announcement. I did record a March 2018 webinar. If you are interested in watching it and we're not able to make it to the live event, please click the link down below in my description box in order to learn more about that. In this video, I talk a lot about Pisces, Aries, because we have a lot of planets moving through there uh, this month. So if you want to know more about these two signs, how I view them, please click the link below, okay? The way I see this month is it's all about overcoming the past, overcoming old things that are no longer working for us and moving into new chapters where we feel more free to be ourselves and to do some things that it is that we want to do. So that's what it's all about. If you're interested in, below, okay? Now for your horoscope for the month. What we've got going on for you, Libra, first of the month here, March 1st, a uh, full moon in Virgo happening. That for you is going to be your 12th house of your insides and of your spirituality. So what is going on then uh, is that there could be some kind of ending, completion, or culmination here and just how you feel on the inside, spirituality, what's going on inside you, okay? Because this is the 12th house, you may not be able to uh, see it as readily as maybe other people will or even notice it. Sometimes the 12th house goes unnoticed, happens behind the scenes. Um, but there's some kind of ending here in the way that you feel internally about your life and about what is going on in your life and about how you approach your life happening. If it's not an ending, it's some kind of completion where you're finally stepping into a part of your life where you understand what you need on the inside, <laughs> where you understand what matters for you internally and are able to hopefully feel more comfortable in your life, okay? The reason why you're doing that at the full moon is so that at the new moon right here in Pisces on March 17th, you can start to do stuff outwardly at work on the day-to-day -day at your job with the new moon happening in your sixth house of your job and your daily routines okay and you're trying to make sure here at the beginning of the month that you've got everything that you need to feel right internally to feel right spiritually to feel right on the inside so that at the middle of the month you can then start to do things on the day-to-day -day. put in a lot of work um, to create the life outwardly on the outside that you feel on the inside okay and i think that's going to be a big thing for you is how can i take all these things that i've got going on inside me spiritual creative whatever and actually make them real and actually put in the work in order to make them happen or in order to actually have a job that i really really like okay so that's what you are figuring out the more that you can start to focus here on what kind of job you want or what kind of daily routines that you need that will be the best expression of your internal <laughs> states, I think that is going to help you, all right? Where it's going to help you is going to be right here where Capricorn is because at the beginning of the month, we have these planets in Pisces and a sextile to Capricorn and that for you, Libra, is in your fourth house of home and a family. So anything you can do here to think about your job, to get your daily routines in order, <laughs> to have a job or a daily routine that it is that you like in some way here is gonna help you feel much better at home. <laughs> Build more stability into your life, feel much better emotionally, work better with home and family uh, in some way, okay? And really, really begin to build something that matters and that is important to you. So I do see it being a good thing. All right, the more that you can focus too on your job and having a job that you're comfortable with that you can build on uh, in some way, I think is also going to help you here where Jupiter is uh, in your second house of money and of confidence and of your gifts and skills and talents with Jupiter here making a trine also over to Pisces at the beginning of the month. So you starting to focus more on a job, what job you want and need in order to feel better on the inside or what daily routines is not only going to help you feel better about life, bring more stability into your life, work better with home and family, but it's also going to help you here bring more money to you, get more income. <laughs> it's also going to help you what feel more confident in your life, use more of your gifts and skills and talents that you feel uniquely gifted at to um, to offer to the world, okay? So I think that is what is going on there. The challenge though then comes in at the beginning of the month where Mars is right here in your third house of talk and communication. So as you're doing a lot of thinking here about your job, about your daily routine so that you can feel comfortable and be more confident, maybe there's some communication that's going on that's hard. You're communicating with new or different people in new and different ways, especially over here about your job and about your daily routines with Mars making a square to Pisces 
and of course to Chiron and Pisces as well. So maybe the hard part here is not the job, but it's communicating with other people about this job. Maybe the communication is about money matters. Maybe that's the hard part. <laughs> maybe the communication is figuring out now how to, um, what you need to change in your community, in your immediate environment in order to do more of this job, in order to do more of this thing on the day to day. So that can also be hard. If it's not negotiations, that's difficult. And if it's not changing um, your immediate environment to include this new set of daily routines, perhaps it's inside you. You're having problems here, getting clarity, understanding what job you need or why you need this or how you can bring everything together and really needing to mentally break through some blocks here so that you can let yourself find the stability that you need in life, feel more comfortable in life and get more of what it is that you are worth and bring more money to you, okay? So that could be the thing that comes in. If you have the hard conversations though that you need to have and adjust your perspective and your immediate environment to let other these uh, to let these other things in, I do think there is some good that can come up from it. That's because we are going to have um, Mars towards the middle of the month come into a trine here with Uranus, okay, which is going to be in your seventh house of partnerships relationships, one-on-one, -on -one, um, a business partner, a marriage partner, things like that. So these conversations that you're having, even if it's hard for you to understand what it means for your job, how you can work the details out with the job, with your daily routines on the day-to-day, -day, I think it is going to bring in lots of relationships for you, new people that can help you here move forward or, or conversations with people that can help you see things in new and different ways to move forward. Board, okay, so I see that uh, being a good thing. Seventh house also rules contracts. Okay, I mentioned that because you've got some job stuff going on. So there could also be if you did all these conversations that you're having about your job or daily routines, perhaps some contract as well that then get signed that I think could be helpful for you to do some things that are going to give you more freedom, break free and feel better coming in. All right. So that's what I see going on there. Um, as that's happening on March 10th, we also do have Jupiter here in your second house going retrograde. So maybe there's been issues with money, uh, perhaps changes with finances that you've been trying to make. You've been trying to make money, be more confident here. Um, what else? Use more of your gifts and skills and talents. Maybe it's been hard for you to figure that some, some of that stuff out, but if it is Jupiter retrograde, I think it's going to help you figure out, okay, what do I need financially? What do I need to feel more confident in my life? What do I need to feel more stable? And how can I go back and heal some of those problems, make them better, okay, and start to change things now that I know more of where I stand in a better way so that I can make the money that I need and move forward feeling more confident in my life doing things that I feel uniquely gifted at, all right? So that's going to happen there. Then on March 17th, we have the new moon in Pisces really launching you forth into a new job, into a new set of daily routines here to move forward on that. As to where the beginning of the month, the first week or two is all about thinking more or less, what job do I need and how is this job going to work and what kind of daily routines do I want and communicating maybe with relationships here about your job, what job you need to feel comfortable and about money. Okay, the, then at the new moon, you actually begin to step into this job, step into these things that you've just been talking about earlier to actually do them. Okay, so that's what's happening there. Then after that happens, the new moon, we got a lot of these planets in Pisces, then moving into Aries, bringing the focus here to your relationships, all right? So the second half of the month no longer becomes just about your job and what you're doing on the day-to-day. -day. It then becomes about the people that you're partnering with. Who are you partnering with one-on-one -on, -one on the day-to-day? -day? Now that you figured some things out about your daily routines and about your job earlier in the month, how can you actually do this job, do this daily routine? routine and to do it with other people and the way that it is that you need to do it in. And that's what the second half of the month becomes about. Okay. could be a little challenging as these planets make the switch from Pisces to Aries because they are going to cross Chiron in the process. So maybe feeling a little bit uncomfortable about your job, feeling a little bit uncomfortable about your daily routines, about the people you're interacting with on the day to day, unsure whether or not this is right for you and what it is that you want, but needing to be patient, needing to have faith and needing to not let some of those fears get you down so that you can have a daily routine that resonates better with you and work better with other people who can help, okay? So that's what I see going on there. Then the second half of the month, it's what I'm gonna talk about right now. Just wanted to clear the chart so that I didn't make it too messy for you all. All right, I think I got it all. <laughs> 
Now, the second half of the month becomes a lot here where Aries is, which for you rules your seventh house of partnerships and relationships of the one-on-one -on -one variety, where you're having a lot of focus now at the second half of the month, as I just said, on people working with other people on the day-to-day, -day, uh, seeing how other people can help you and you can help others to do some things that are important to you. Now, the challenge towards the second half of the month, once you start to work with other people, then becomes this, where Capricorn um, is, and that's in your fourth house. Of home and family okay because we do have Aries uh, and a square with Capricorn coming in the second half of the month all right um, really bringing more of your focus now to not only relationships but how can you feel comfortable with relationships how can you build something in your life working with the other people that you need <laughs> in some way okay as to where Pisces where a bunch of planets were at the beginning of the month sextiles the uh, Capricorn Aries squares it okay so at the beginning of the month I think maybe you were excited about a job about a daily routine you maybe thought that you had a real chance to have a job a set of daily routines that you can feel comfortable with um, and that you could build something on and that was better for you and then now at the second half of the month that you start to do this job do this daily routine and start to work with people you get worried now about your home now you get worried emotionally well I was happy with the job the job made me comfortable but working with other people on the job I don't know about this I don't know about this you know this is out of my comfort zone this is a little destabilizing you know and that becomes the challenge at the second half of the month is not only how you can work with people but how you can work with them in a way that works that you like that you're comfortable in that can last in some way and how to integrate some of these other people perhaps as well into your home and your family if it's not hitting you in a work related way that could also come in okay so I see that going on there. If you can figure out some way to feel comfortable with these new relationships or with these people in your life, okay, and to really build something with them, I think there is an opportunity here for some good things to happen. That's because around the end of the month, these planets and Aries are also going to come into a trine here with the North Node. Okay, and that for you is in your 11th house of your goals, your dreams, and your hopes for the future. So you finding a way to work with other people in your life, include other people, feel comfortable with other people is going to help you here reach some big goals of yours, reach some big dreams um, in some way. Envision a future that's better. Get more excited maybe about your future. <laughs> also associate with groups of people in some way that you think are better for you comes in with the 11th house. All right, so even though dealing with other people may be uncomfortable, I do see them being really good to help you do some things that you want and need to move forward. All right, so that's what's happening there. While that's going on, we also do have Mars moving into Capricorn on March 18th, a sign it likes very much. And then we've got Mercury here um, going retrograde and Aries on March 24th as well. So even if working with other people and feeling comfortable working with other people is a little bit of a challenge, I do think you have lots of motivation with Mars and Capricorn to really work better with home and family, build a home and a family, even if you have to change some things, build something that feels really stable and secure, okay? And to make sure that you're communicating with people about who you are and about what you want in a way that works uh, in some way, okay? Moving forward so I do think there are lots of opportunities there going on then on March 31st we've got a full moon here in your sign happening the very last day of the month also bringing some kind of ending here in your identity and who you are and in the way that you see yourself or some kind of culmination the reason why that's happening at the full moon here is so that you finally can next month step into these new relationships feeling much better about them working much better with people in some way and you're just trying to make sure at the very end of this month not only that you understand how to work with people and how to feel better with them but also that your needs are taken care of so that you can do more of what you need and want to do with other people to reach some big goals and dreams of yours okay so that's what i've got for you libra now your card for the month is the queen of pentacles reversed this card is actually one a little bit of instability uh, in some way the reason why i think that is because to me the queen upright she does not mess around this woman not only has a great job where she makes good money uh, and where she's well liked by her co-workers she also has a good home she has a good family she's got a loving partner <laughs> coming in 
Um, I see her as just everything. She's got every part of her life comfortable, stable, and I think there could be difficulty this month feeling like you got the home life, you got the job, you got the relationships, especially with stuff going on. And I think what you need to do here is you need to be dedicated and you need to be disciplined when it is that you work with people and when it is that you try to accomplish things in your life. I think you need to make sure that if you do enter into any contracts or that if you do work with other people, that they are people that understand you, that can help you, that can bring more stability and comfort to your life or bring more money to you and that these relationships are so Solid and will work and I think if you can be very dedicated and disciplined when it comes to your life and what you need and where it's going even if it is hard and even if it does require a lot of work to bring everything together I think there can be a huge payoff for you in the end Libra to actually have a life that is like the Queen of Pentacles upright okay you just got to be diligent this month and you got to put in the hard work and keep all the balls rolling and move everything together so that you finally can have a life that you feel like is more stable for you and can give you more of the foundation it is that you're looking for, right? So thank you so much, Libra, for watching my horoscope. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like it on YouTube, subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and I will talk to you later.